Hello, Enlightium families. Today is the National Day of Prayer. The National Day of Prayer has been a part of our country's foundation since the beginning, from George Washington to the Puritans. It was, it was uh, materially practiced from the very onset of our great country. And it's a time where we come together, we humble ourselves before God, asking of his blessing upon our lives. It's often a time that came uh, in response to some circumstances or challenges uh, against our shared foundation foundations such as the innate dignity of each and every human life, challenges against upholding the freedom of faith, the freedom of speech and of press. And so we come together to pray for specific reasons, and those reasons are our shared foundation, where we humble ourselves before God, that he may bless us on that foundation. And so the day of prayer is not an arbitrary day, it's not made up. It's a day with, with intention and purpose to really implore, seek God, and ask of his continued guidance on our country. There's a passage in 1 Thessalonians that might help prepare our hearts and minds for this occasion. In the letter of Thessalonians, Paul encourages the Christians to continue in their faith and love for Jesus Christ until his return. And at the end of the letter, he gives eight imperatives. And I just want us to focus in on the second of eight imperatives. And these imperatives really uh, give a picture of the Christian life, how we ought to live and continue to grow in our faith and love. The second imperative is pray without ceasing. Uh, all translations, for the most part in English, use those, two those three words. In Greek, there's two words. Uh, the two words are adialeptos and prosukeste. Adialeptos just means without ceasing. It's the adverb qualifying pray, so pray without ceasing. But the verb itself, to pray, has actually got its own unique sense to it, which means continually. Pray continually without ceasing. What a picture that is that, that Paul admonishes the Christians to commune with God without ceasing, uh, praying to him. And how, how that might be something for us to reflect on as we, this day, pray for our nation that God actually commands us to pray, to go to him without ceasing in prayer, or as uh, with the Greek verb prosukis, uh, they uh, pray repetitively or pray continually without ceasing. So how might this passage from 1 Thessalonians apply to the National Day of Prayer for us today? Well, like the Thessalonians, we are admonished to pray continually without ceasing for our faith and love in Christ May we pray without ceasing, pray regularly for God's love to transform our hearts, to be united together, to stand for liberty and justice for all. May we pray without ceasing for our families and for our communities. May we pray without ceasing for our great nation. We can pray without ceasing, which implies praying at all places and in all circumstances. May we pray for God's love to knit our hearts together as one as we face today's challenges. May we pray without ceasing for God to humble our hearts and give us a posture of trusting in Him and entrusting our future to Him as one nation of various diverse backgrounds. Wherever you find yourself today, whether in your car or at home, at work, or however you are, in sorrow, in, in joy, in solace, in uh, uh, turmoil, in thankfulness, in brokenness. Wherever you are, however you are, this day, pray unceasingly for our nation. Pray that God would bring us together and receive God's blessing.